And I gotta say guys, I think Kittle's better than them. I've been using Kittle a lot lately to design and I've been comparing it to apps like Adobe Photoshop and Canva and I think this needs to be said that I don't use products I don't like, whether it's a physical product, a website, whatever it may be, I have to like it and I have to stand behind it or I won't touch it, okay? So with that being said, I wanna go into why I think Kittle beats Adobe Photoshop and Canva in most areas and why I think most designers that are just starting out should use Kittle first. If you guys watched my last Kittle video, you saw that I created a few t-shirt designs using the online browser-based design tools that Kittle offers and they were really easy to use. And that's when I started to compare different design tools to see which one really is the best for majority of designers that are just starting out. So right off the bat, I think Kittle is best for beginners. If you are somebody that doesn't have a lot of time to design and you need high quality designs and you don't have a lot of time to learn a program like Photoshop, that's where Kittle beats out so many others, so much competition because of its ease of use and um, its a plethora of options, templates to choose from, whether it's a logo, a t-shirt design, merch design in general, they have everything on this easy to use platform and their website is just so uh, user friendly that I believe that it's probably the easiest to get into. And that's where it's hard to beat. Like with Photoshop, you, it's, a, it's a really big program. There's so many different bells and whistles, so many different tools that you have to learn. And there's also hidden things in Photoshop that aren't immediately clear. If you're somebody like me that's been using Adobe Photoshop for like over 12 years, then yeah, of course I'm gonna know more things than the, the average Joe that's just been using Photoshop for let's say a year or two years or even three years. But um, that's the issue with Photoshop is it's it's got a really steep learning curve and if you don't have the time to learn it, the chances are you're going to struggle with your creativity. Now, your goal should always be to create and let your imagination run wild. So when you have a program holding you back, it definitely puts a damper on that creative process. And that leads me to comparing Kittle versus Canva because Photoshop is obviously not as easy as those two, right? I think we could all agree on that. So when you compare Canva to Kittle or Kittle to Canva, you start to look at the user interface, right? And I think that that's something you should do. For example, on the Kittle website, they have all the uh, categories listed above in this really easy fashion. So you got logos, uh, t-shirt designs, posters and all that stuff. And it's so easy to just uh, siphon through all of the different design templates that are on there that are created by the community, which is incredible. And similarly, Canva has stuff like that as well, but it's not immediately present that they offer t-shirt design templates and, and logo templates. You have to definitely dig a little deeper. And I'm not saying that Canva is not easy to use because it really is, but I definitely think Kittle takes the W here with logo designers and uh, people that wanna make merch because again, they have categories right in front of your face for that. And I think that if you are a beginner looking to just start dabbling in design and start creating stuff right now, Kittle's probably going to be the best option. One other thing that was like kind of a big thing for me when comparing these two browser-based design tools is the fact that Canva doesn't have as many cool looking designs. Go through Kittle's library for a second, whether it's under logos, posters, t-shirts, and you'll see there's amazing illustrations that you can immediately edit, and they all look so cool. I didn't have the same reaction when I went on Canva for the first time. Like, I just wasn't that blown away by the, the selections that I was able to edit. And I don't think Canva's to blame for that. I think it also has to do with the community since the community is what uh, builds that, that library of assets that you can then edit. So I, I think it has to do with the communities being different. Kittle seems to have an amazing and talented community of designers that upload work for people like me and you to edit. And I, I, I really do think that um, that's where the difference lies. It's not so much Canva doing that, I think it's the community. And I have seen some cool designs on Canva, I don't wanna discredit that. Riffing off of what I just said, cause I know I threw a lot at you guys right now, this is all unscripted by the way, so I'm just giving you my live thoughts as I'm thinking about it. And um, I think that's the realest way to make a video like this. I don't wanna script everything and, and make one sound better than the other or anything like that. That's not the goal here. I'm just giving you guys my honest opinion whether Kittle sponsored me or not, I don't care about that. Editing text, editing typography, 
and and adding your own fonts and stuff like that is so much easier in Kittle than and then Canva and even Photoshop. Like to wrap text around a circle in Photoshop, I have to make a circle and then use the type on a path tool. You guys see me do it all the time. And with Kittle, there's literally a button for that. It's just there and it's it's so easy. You click on it, it's like a preset and it's ready to go. Um, with Canva, I had to like dig really deep to find anything that does something remotely cool like that. So the only reason why Kittle is winning besides having a really awesome library of templates to choose from, um, I think it's the ease of use. And if you are a beginner starting out right now or maybe you just started last year and you're designing and you just wanna make cool stuff and you don't wanna think about you know what buttons to press to do what, I think Kittle's gonna be your best friend, guys, moving forward. So with that all being said, if you're wanting to start designing or if you've been designing and you've been struggling to learn different programs, I think you should continue to learn all these other programs. I think it's good to be diverse, but if you just want to start designing and creating cool stuff right now, Kittle has you covered. They gave you guys three months of pro subscription free, completely free because you guys watch my video. So all you have to do is click the link in the description below to redeem it, sign up. So you guys can create as much as you want for three months for free. And I can't wait to see what you guys make. And also let's start a discussion in the comment section below and let me know what you guys think about Kittle versus Photoshop versus Canva. That's it for me, guys. But hey, keep creating. Never stop. I'll catch you in the next one. What up? It's Bam Margera telling you to subscribe to Charlie Pangas' YouTube channel or you're not eating dinner tonight, you're going to be digging in the dumpster for a peach pit. Yeah, man.